News, Kilifi County. The government has rubbished claims of exam malpractices in the 2022 KCC results, terming those reports as unfounded rumors. Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Mashogu led other senior ministry officials, including NEC Chief Executive Officer David Njengere, before Parliamentary Education Committee, where they argued that the 2022 KCC results correlate with the 2018 KCP results. Shadrach Miti with the details. With unending claims of malpractices and irregularities in the 2022 KCSE exam, Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogo, flanked by Principal Secretary Rebellio Kepsang and NEC Chief Executive Officer David Njengere, appeared before the Julius Meli led Education Committee to set the record straight. Was there credibility or no credibility? Or it was just hot air? You are in constituencies where there are schools. At least, no member of parliament also comes out and says, in my constituency, such and such a school, I know did this. Is people saying, I know, I've heard, I've heard. But nobody comes with specific information, Chairman. In 2022, 876,000 candidates sat the KCSE exam against 821,000 in the previous year. 173,000 candidates scored grade C plus and above in 2022, out of which 1,146 were straight A's, compared to 1,138 in 2021. However, the committee wanted Machogo and his team to answer to questions of cheating, malpractices and irregularities. The entry behavior somehow informs the outcome of a particular school. It is not a practical for us, example, a school to live from a, a maybe a mean score of three to a mean score of eight. There is something called a natural curve, a normal curve, and there is something called an abnormal curve. I want to cite three situations. Rikoko Secondary School, 2021 KCSC, a mean of five, 0.728, that is a mean of C. 2022 KCSC, the same school, a mean of 9.0, B plane. All the students in the school transitioned to university. What it is like in this country is that when we send our kids to school, the norm should be that the kids should fail. Because when we have 354,000 kids, attaining a D and below, and we don't get worried. And we are worried of 173,000 kids who got cumulatively in six grades 174,000, then I don't know what the norm is when we send our kids to school. In KCPE, you can have a normal curve. That is possible. Because the population that enters a primary school in class one is a normal population. There hasn't been any pre-selection. They all enter from the same village, from the same environment. Except for the many allegations raised by the committee, it would appear the MPs struggled to table any tangible evidence to qualify the many allegations raised against the credibility of 2022 KCC exams. Can you be able to give us specific data, statistical data or information on specific suspect schools and what you've done on them? Yeah. Two, can you also be able to give us the mock the continuous assessment and entry behavior of suspect centers. Shadrach Miti, KT News. <laughs>